Right, we're talking about three really hot topics here in Benidorm. We're talking about pickpockets, muggings, and of course, Benidorm's doorman. So, these are hot topics. These are things that are talked about a lot in Benidorm. So, uh, we're going to start things off talking about pickpockets. To be honest, pickpocketing, is that the way to say it? Pickpocketing? It's, so. it's completely avoidable, to be honest. And it can happen anywhere. It's not just Benidorm. It's not just when you go on holiday. It's not just Spain. It's anywhere. It can be back home in the UK or Ireland. It can be anywhere. If you're leaving yourself open and vulnerable and on your own, I think is one of the more important things. Yeah. Is if you're on your own, you're open and vulnerable to mm. this happening. The reality mm. is, is that there are some unpleasant people out there. Mm. And I think, like Jay said, it can happen anywhere in the world. But I think the media sort of pick up on it a lot because it's something to write about, something to get clicks. But we're not denying the fact that it does happen here in Bendorm. And I think that with pickpockets, I think that the most uh, amazing thing that I've seen or at least heard of um, when we're talking about pickpockets is is it's not even something they do in the dark corners anymore. It's not even, you know, in a dark alley anymore. You know, pickpockets are literally where the opportunity strikes. You've got somebody on their own. They are literally, you know, sticking their hand in someone's pocket and physically taking it out. You know, and we've seen, a, or at least we've heard of a few cases like that even over the last few weeks, right? Yeah, they're, they're not even particularly sneaky about it. Yeah. Like, yeah. to be honest, when I... When I always thought about pickpockets, I thought of, you know, like the films yeah. where they're proper sneaky and like, amazing and, and you don't even know, even know they know did it, it yeah. and all that. Yeah, no, that's no, no, what no. I thought yeah. a pickpocket was. Yeah. In Benidorm, it's not like that. They're just preying on people who are obscenely drunk and mm. on their own and just, yeah, yeah. they're not even sneaky. Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think what you've got to do is you've got to avoid certain setups like when you see the p-men for example i mean you've got a, a, a gathering there and you get a few tourists stopping to have a look and then of course you've got the pickpocket who will maneuver around the edges and try and remove a few wallets and phones or whatever mm -hmm. because but, you're you're distracted yeah and and i think that's kind of what you need to do so pickpockets do exist they are about um you know pickpockets in bars and clubs and restaurants and stuff like that i think is less likely but it still can happen you know they they literally target people that they know are drunk people that would probably lose their phone or their wallet anyway so they're just kind of saving time yeah you know so uh, i think when it comes to pickpockets you know please bear in mind that they are very good at what they do and they don't care if they're gonna put their hand in your pocket and take your phone or your wallet or both mm -hmm. you know they don't care so, you know, be, be warned on that one. I think uh, with muggings as well, muggings is a very similar thing. You know, um, we've heard of people that have been mugged. Um, people have been, you know, ladies of the night, for example, mm -hmm. you know, luring guys into the bushes and all that. Mm -hmm. And we've seen it happen, haven't we? Yeah. And there's also the thing of when people are lost and walking about, they're on their phone because they're lost. Mm. But they're up side streets that are darker and things yeah. like that. And that's where you hear of some of the muggings happening. Yeah. It's when, again, people are on their own. Mm. They're a bit drunk, which is why they're lost. Can't find their hotel. Yeah. And, and they're vulnerable, really, because yeah. they're, they're confused and a bit drunk. But I think mugging-wise as well, what some of the most common things that we've heard of lately, which you can connect to muggings, is this. Is... For example, someone asking you, um, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I don't know where my hotel is. Can you show me your phone and, and can you unlock your, not unlock your phone, they won't say that because I know you're going to unlock it anyway. Um, they'll say to you, can you show me on your Google Maps where my hotel is? And people are literally helping, getting their phones out, unlocking their phones, and then they snatch the phone and they run off with the yeah. phone. This because is the most the common one. Because then unlock to get to your maps. Yep. They've got full access. Yep, they've got access to your phone, which you're probably thinking, well, okay, why do they need that? Cash app, banking apps, um, you know, PayPal. Mm -hmm. They will use all of these. I mean, these guys and girls, they know what they're doing. I yeah. mean, they're not amateurs. We don't know what they're doing, but they do. Mm -hmm. So I think that's... And then there's the actual phone itself. Yeah. Like, once they've used everything they can from it, they'll, like, blank it and sell it on. Yeah. One thing that does surprise me, though, in all fairness, is... Even though the police here in Benidorm are doing everything they can to sort of combat the pickpockets, um, they are doing what they can to combat, you know, the, the muggings. Typically, 
every time I've heard about somebody getting mugged in Benidorm, to use the term mugged, it always seems to be in the same places. And I just don't really get why, when you think that the police are out and about every single day and every single night, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of police in Benidorm, there's a lot of police in Benidorm. How they're not targeting these particular yeah, areas. Yeah, think they would set up a random patrol in those yeah. areas. undercover, whatever the use is. I mean, we run bars, we know how it works, the police monitor everything, and yet these certain areas just don't really seem to get any attention. Yeah. Or maybe they do, maybe it's not enough attention, because if it was enough attention, it, it would stop. Yeah, it wouldn't happen. It's not like everyone's mugging people or pickpocketing people in Benidorm. It's just a very, obviously, a very small group of people and uh, as long as they get away with it, they're going to keep doing it. So, yeah. I mean, that's that's that, you know. So that's my opinion on that. Yeah. I think if the police put their minds to it, a couple of undercover in the areas where these things are happening, which are very small areas, by the way, they're off the beaten track. Um, and uh, I, I'm sure they'd have that cleaned up in no time. Yeah. You know, and uh, watching somebody physically grab something from someone else um, is is pretty decisive as to what happened, you know. Yeah. Uh, so that, so there is that kind of takes us on to the next thing of Benny Dorm's Dorman. Yeah. If you stay in the populated areas, which is where the bars are, which is where the Dorman are, you're safer. Yeah. Because yeah. these pickpockets, these muggers, they're not going to do it in front of the Dorman. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's one of the things we wanted to talk about. Um, a lot of people give the doorman a lot of flack here in Benidorm. Now, we're not defending or we're not saying either way, but at the end of the day, one thing we can tell you is from all the doormen that we know, you know, they are there to help you as well as protect the bars. Now, obviously, if you're in a bar and someone's, you know, being a bit silly or being a bit stupid, they are going to get involved, they are going to deal with them. But at the end of the day, if you're somebody that wants protection as well, i.e. you don't want to get mugged, you don't want to get pickpocketed, generally speaking, the best place to be is, like Jade said, is around these people, because these people will help you. You know, if somebody grabbed your phone and a doorman from, say, you know, uh, our bar saw that, they are going to go and sort that out. Yeah. They're going to sort that out. They're going to help you try and get that back. They're going to yeah. help try and find the person that took it. Yeah. There is no way that, you know, the doorman in Benidorm, for example, would witness something like that and just think nothing of it. I mean, yeah. you know, like, for example, a situation at the top of the road where Miller's Beach Bar is, our doorman the other day saw somebody who got pickpocketed. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know if you can call it pickpocketed. She just, well, it was, she just grabbed his phone and, and legged it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and our doorman went after her, you know, in the same way they do the same for you. So the message there is stay in the very, very populated areas yeah the areas that are fun the strip the square places like the beachfront is very safe as well um and i think that's really where yeah. you need to be if you go off into the, the, the into the distance of you know yeah. the if back you, streets if you, yeah if you're down the back streets that are darker it's common sense really like all all the time growing up i was always told you don't go down a dark road on your own yeah exactly well, it's the same when you go on holiday yeah <laughs> you don't go down a dark road on your own and it would be nice, though, to see the police do more about it. Yeah. It would be nice to see the police use the force and use the strength that they have to take care of this uh, menace, really. Um, you know, because it is, it is bad for tourism. It's bad for people. And um, it would be great to see them do more. And hopefully they will. Uh, but, yeah, so I think that's really where we're at. So those three topics are big ones here in Benelope at the moment, hitting the media. And, of course, like I say, pickpockets. You know, they are out there, so be careful, protect yourself by just being in the right places, you know, i.e. the strip, the square, you're safe. Obviously, uh, the back streets and going off into the wilderness is at your own risk. Yeah. Um, Muggings-wise, muggings generally are just where someone's had their phone taken out of their hand or whatever, and yeah. the people run off with the phone. But we've explained to you how they're doing that. They're, they're literally asking you, you know, do you know where a hotel is? You get your phone out to help them, unlock your phone, and psh, it's gone. Um, so you have to be careful. Now, these are not massive issues here in Bendorm, but they are issues and we just wanted to address yeah. them anyway. And I think the key is stay with your group. Yeah. Don't go wandering off on your own. Yeah. Don't let one of your group go wandering off on their own. Yeah. You know, and yeah. there is that, you know. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and um, myself and Jade, out. FK, it will go home, you know that? <laughs> you said out. Yeah. You did. <laughs> <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> Bow chicka wow wow. You know that. See ya. Can't <laughs> wait to meet ya. Frank the Stagman. JB. Out. <laughs>